Hey everyone, Dave here with Beast Made Reviews. Now last week we released the first part of a large briefcase uh, suggestion video and we love that video. We actually made it to where Carl was presenting his ideas and I was presenting mine, but it ended up being really long. So we cut it in half and published Carl's first and we're probably gonna do that for the rest of the series as well. Here's my half on the bags. So without further ado, here's the video, hope you enjoy. So my first choice for a bag is something that you've already seen. You've seen a video of it, of course, uh, in the previous video, and that is the large classic briefcase by Saddleback Leather. Now Saddleback Leather has had a lot of scrutiny and it's had a lot of praise. And I think both are really well deserved in their case. And Saddleback Leather does make a very high quality product. All of the products are great. This is also the bag that launched Saddleback Leather. It's one of the first products that they made. It's a gorgeous bag. It's held up really well. As you can see from the video, it has just aged really well after three years. This is what it looks like. I still love this bag, and I still love Saddleback Leather. This bag really hits an aesthetic sweet spot that is somewhat Western, somewhat Safari, and somewhat Indiana Jones. Some have criticized the looks as somewhat costume-like, and I can see that as well. It's not for everybody, and it's not something that you can really dress up with a suit. It has a distinct look to it. But the quality is there all day long, really thick, full grain leather, uh, really tough hardware, really durable stitching and threads. I mean, it's, it's there. It's gonna last forever. They're right. You, they're gonna fight for it when you're dead. <laughs> the large is actually a very big bag, and I think that if you're looking for a bag, um, I would say try to find one in person if possible. I know that's not possible for many people, but if you know someone with a Saddleback Leather, definitely look at one in person. It's also very heavy, and that's one thing that I do not like about the Saddleback Leather bag. I think partly that's due to its hardware, which it has a ton of hardware. It has more hardware than you would ever really need. Another minor gripe I think that I have with Saddleback Leather is they never have brass hardware. It's all chrome hardware. Unfortunately, the chrome hardware kind of adds a little bit of a pedestrian feel to this bag. And I think if they had brass, it would really elevate the looks a lot more. I think the last gripe that I have with this bag is that the price is really high. Now, Saddleback bags have always been generally very high for the bags that they are. In the past, the prices were fair, yet high. Now, I think they're gone past fair and they're going into stratospheric range. The problem with the prices now is that they're getting into a price range that is really competing with luxury brands. And some of the luxury brands really have high quality themselves, yet bring a very distinct um, professional look, and I would say an almost more versatile look than the Saddleback leather bags. So they're competing on a different level now with those, with those type of bags. This is almost $800 for this bag, and that's really ridiculous. That's more money than I would ever want to pay, and when I see that price, it makes me think, well, I'm never gonna have one of those. Also, these bags are not made in America. These are made in Mexico. As you'll see, there are many bags out there that are just as good in quality, uh, but are less money, and they're made in America. At this price range, though, it makes me wonder why. Like, why is it so high? Why is it $800 for this bag when I can pay $500 and get a bag that is just as good. Value is always going to be subjective and there's always gonna be someone that will pay a price for anything, no matter what. Saddleback Leather will always have customers and I think that's great, I think they should. Overall, it's a beautiful bag and I still love it. When I saw it in person the first time, I was overwhelmed and almost, it was breathtaking. Then when I borrowed it from a friend for this video, I saw it after three years of use and it was still breathtaking. So it still brings a giddy happiness every time I see this bag. It's beautiful. It's a very high quality bag and you will be definitely thrilled in having it if you love Saddleback Leather's design. But there are many, many other choices out there for bags that I think people will also resonate with as well. So my next choice is the Custom Hide Scholar. And this is a very big bag as well. I think it's comparable in size to the Saddleback Leather Large Classic Briefcase. Uh, but it is like the very rich uh, cousin. I think it's so much better in a lot of different ways and um, the price is less. Now Custom Hide I believe is out west, I believe it's in Arizona, but they're located in the US, they make everything here in the US 
and all of their stuff is impeccable. It's absolutely perfect. You really need to go see their line because they have several in their line that are they're just gorgeous. And we're gonna mention a few of them, of course. Now this bag is like the Mercedes Benz of bags. One of the things I really love about this is that the leather on it is just beautiful. And it has something about it that has almost like this glowing effect. And I don't really know why it does that, but it's just the type of leather that it, that it uses. And maybe it's just the, the soft, almost eggshell type of reflection that it has. Uh, this one is really great, especially uh, dressed up. You can use this in very casual settings, of course, but if you're a professional and you need a bag that really is a professional type of bag uh, that you can wear with a suit and all that, you need to check out Custom Hide because uh, they have a ton of bags that are perfect for that. Custom Hide has a lot of different customizable features that you can pick for your bags. Uh, one being how many pockets you have. Now, as you can see, there's two compartments here, uh, two compartment design, I should say. And you can have a single compartment design, which is a little bit thinner, dual compartment design like this, even a triple, and I believe they even have even more than that. You can also choose whether you have pockets or not in different designs that they have. Of course, these has the pockets right here. One of the things I really love about this design is that there is a, a buckle, of course, but underneath the buckle is a quick release fastener, which is amazing. That is just a brilliant design for this type of bag. Of course, they have really high quality leather, which looks beautiful. They have really high quality threads for their stitching. They have great, great hardware, which I love. Another thing that I really like about it is that they finished the edges uh, with a, a sewn lining on the outside, which is, looks great. And it has a lot of real estate on the inside and also has a kind of hidden zippered pocket in the back, which is cool. You get a lot of bag for the money. And this bag, I would say, is absolute perfection. And it is a shame that I don't hear much about Custom Hide out there because they really are just some of the best bag makers out there. And speaking of the price point here, this Scholar in two compartments is about $500, which is an incredible, incredible value for what you get here. And I think that's very, very fair. And uh, it's just really, really worth the money. Also too, if there are aspects that you like of certain bags, but maybe not one bag screams your name, you can actually commission them and they will actually custom make a bag for you. I don't know how much that costs, but that is an incredible uh, option there. Definitely check out Custom Hide, and if you're looking for a large briefcase, check out their Scholar. All right, so my last choice in large briefcase is going to be the Briefcase by Jackson Wayne. And this one is in black. Of course, they have three different colors. Of course, I've mentioned Jackson Wayne on the channel before. I absolutely love Jackson Wayne. You're gonna be seeing more from them in future videos. Jackson Wayne really nails this aesthetic that really resonates with me, that it's rugged yet minimalistic. The briefcase really is kind of the culmination of that. This design is based on a vintage lawyer bag from the 1920s and 40s, and it really has that type of classic look. Now, the construction itself is fantastic. Really, really thick vegetable tan leather. It's made all in the USA. It's actually made in Franklin, Tennessee, and even the leather itself is sourced from an American tannery. They're really going out of their way to make everything in America, which is fantastic. This briefcase is wonderful. Now, it is a large briefcase, briefcase, but it's not huge. And what I really like about it is that it's the perfect size in briefcase. A lot of times, like with the Saddleback leather uh, briefcase, it can be huge. And this one isn't like that. It's just the right size. It's big. If you're a bigger guy, a bigger, taller guy maybe, um, it's not going to look like a little purse on you. <laughs> and on the inside, it's a single compartment that holds a lot of stuff. You can really cram a lot of stuff in here. It has a compartment for it, like a laptop and a cell phone and some business cards and pens. This design is also fantastic because it's very, very simple. And because it's simple, it actually lends itself to being very versatile. You can take this in very casual settings, but you can also dress this up really easily. And uh, I really love that. The hardware is all brass, which I really love brass hardware, first of all but it has kind of a distressed look, which looks really cool on this. And because this is black, the brass really pops on this, which is great. It has a compartment on the back 
to put like little pamphlets or maybe have a passport or, or something in there, a newspaper maybe. It's also pretty light for its size, which is a great plus to have in a bag. I love this bag and I love Jackson Wayne. Everything they do, they just really nail it. And this is just no exception. It's gorgeous. I really love the classic looks of this. It's almost like going back in time and getting a bag that was made right. This bag is just under $500 and is a steal. Great, great value. You're gonna love it. This is something that's gonna last the rest of your life. I'd also like to add one more suggestion to this list. It's a bag by J.W. Hume called the Editor Briefcase. I don't have it on me because it was a loaner that I had to return months ago, but it's a worthwhile suggestion for this video because it's an amazing bag. J.W. Hume is located in Minnesota. They make all their bags by hand from full grain leather. They are at the top of their game. All of their bags are really classy and just really versatile. Every time I see one, I think that this belongs to like a doctor or a lawyer or someone just with a lot of money. It's just really, really classy. What I like in particular about the Editor briefcase is that it has a zippered top. The zippered top makes it easy to access and then it has outside pockets that are great, easy to open and close. The hardware is all brass, which is amazing. The leather is fantastic. You can see a lot of variation in the grain and the color. And then they finish the edges with another lining of leather on the outside, which is just another nice touch. The interior is lined and it comes with some pockets that are unobtrusive yet really handy. Now the cost on this bag is very high. A lot of JW Hume's prices are pretty high, but I can definitely say that you're getting what you pay for. All American made, high quality, full grain leather, lifetime warranty, and just an amazing aesthetic. This is gonna be a bag that you want to get. I really wish I could have kept this one. Thanks for watching this episode of Beast Made Reviews. We really love doing these videos and we have been thrilled to make this bag video. We have more bag videos coming, so stay tuned for that. What has been your favorite bag in the bunch? Uh, let us know down in the comments. If there's a bag out there that we haven't mentioned that is your favorite, also let us know what it is down in the comments. Of course, we'll have links to all of these in the description box so you can go and check them out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the way out. We'll see you next time. We're Beast Made Reviews. Bye.